Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. Before we get started, I want to let you know that you can find all the code examples and resources we'll be using today in the GitHub repository linked in the video description below. This repository serves as a valuable companion to the tutorial, allowing you to follow along, experiment, and explore the code on your own time. I'm Samuel Giampieri, and I'm a freelance developer. Join my community by subscribing to my channel at Divergolabs. Explore a wealth of coding content and free courses on my website divergolabs.com. So uh, in this chapter, we'll dive into the essentials of pages, layouts, and templates in Next.js. We will learn how to structure your application and uh, create dynamic pages and uh, ensure a consistent design throughout your project. Let's get started. Actually, with this chapter, you will learn to create page in Next.js and understanding the automatic routing system and implementing layouts and templates to establish a consistent structure to your, for your application and uh, maximizing code uh, reusability with the component and shared layouts. Actually, with the advent of uh, Next.js 13, the hub router has uh, ushered a new convention for building pages like shared layouts and template. This guide will walk you through harnessing the power of this convention so you can enhance your Next.js application. Let's start with pages. Actually, pages are elements that are used to defining unique UI for route. So in the context of Next.js, a page encapsulates the UI unique to a specific route. So the process is intuitive. You just simply export a component from a page.js file and for structure organization, employ nested folders. The folder structure define the, the route and while the page file makes the route publicly accessible. Let's see this image where we can understand the function of the page actually. This is the root page, is the home page under the app. So when we go to this URL, we will see this page. If we go to the segment, as we saw in the previous chapter, we will open the page under this segment. Here are some key considerations. First of all, route hierarchy. Pages in Next.js always reside at the leaf of the route subtree. <clears throat> As we discover in the previous chapter, the page is always the last leaf of the routing of the URL and is inside the folder. And another consideration is file extension. We can create pages with the JS or TSX or also JSX extensions. And these allow you to use JavaScript or TypeScript. We will use TypeScript for this tutorial. And we also have to consider accessibility rule for a route segment to be publicly accessible, a page.js file is mandatory. If not, you will get the 404 error, page not found. Another important element is that pages and also layout are server components by default. So they will render on the server and the server will produce the, the HTML that will be sent to the browser. We will see the difference between the client component and server components later in this tutorial. But now it's important to know that the pages and layout are server covered. However, the flexibility exists. Sometimes you want to configure the page as a client component when needed. And there is also a data fetching capability. Actually, PageJS can fetch data. We can, for example, fetch data from a database or third party. API to get uh, any data that we will distribute on our pages and we will we can also transfer in the DOM tree and send as a props to other components inside the page and let's also as we see as we discussed already in the previous chapter let's see the page that we already create we go inside our project folder we start the development mode, waiting for local host. It is ready so we can check the page. So this is the root page that we created before. It's inside a root layout that Next.js create automatically. So a layout actually is a UI that is shared between multiple pages. So we just create one layout and it will be the same for all the pages in our routing system. On navigation, actually, layout 
serve state remain interactive and do not uh, re-render each time we change route. That's important because uh, the layout just render once and it will give us a better loading performance and, and faster loading for all the pages. So as user navigates between pages, layouts are that preserve state, uh, interactivity, and refrain from unnecessary re-rendering. So to create a layout, the convention involves exporting a React component from a layout.js or layout.tsx. In this case, we have a root layout that Next.js automatically creates. Now we're going to, to see and explain the code inside this layout. And this component is designed to receive a children props that actually is the page and acting as a receptacle for either a child layout or a child page during the rendering process. Actually, this is the page that we saw before. This is the page. It's this one, sorry. This is wrapped inside the, 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 the layout. If we want, for example, modify the layout, we want to add, for example, wrapping div here. We can do, and we can add some inline style here. We can tell, for example, the one pixel and also the width can be equal to be what the percent of the page. And we want to change the background color of the first layout. So we can say we want red background color layout. Let's see. And here we go. We get the first layout. As you can see, I didn't <clears throat> I didn't put the children inside this div. So actually the layout is is working but it doesn't wrap the page inside it so if we want of course to put the page inside the layout we'll transfer the chill inside so here we go we have the layout and what is good to know about layout first of all the topmost layout in xgs is referred as the root layout and is mandatory we must have a root layout in in xjs this layout is essential and is shared across all the pages within the application Important that the root layout must always include HTML and body, okay? We don't have to put body in the other pages or in nested layout that we will see later, but we have to put in the root layout. It's really important. We don't, we don't have any header here because we can modify the header with the metadata and we will see also later. This is the, the component, it's in TypeScript. We import the children, that is the page. We specified what type is the children that is a React node. We have in HTML, we specify all the information that we need, the language. I will tell a few minutes what is metadata and the next font Google, the hinter is a specific font. And other important things, each route segment in your Next.js application can define its own layout. And these layouts will share across all the page and in that particular route segment, layout is all, they are also nested by default. So it meaning that each parent layout wraps the child layout beneath it. And this is achieved using the React children prop. We already say that layout like pager are server component by default. Also layout can fetch data like pages. Sometimes layout can be set as a client component in specific cases cases if needed, but this provided option to control whether the layout logic is ex executed on the server or on the client. So it depends. Sometimes we need a layout to be rendered on the, on the client browser. For example, when we uh, need the special interaction with the page and we have like a use effect, we can also fetch data in layout, but we cannot pass the data from the layout to the child component. This is a limit. And however, you can fetch data in a route multiple times without affecting performance. So we will see that it will automatically deduplicate the request from the layout. You cannot access the children. Process all the route segments. There is a special feature that we will see later that is called you select layout segment or you select layout segments in a client component. And with this function, we can get the component inside the layout. Let's see what we import in the layout. As a root layout, we can import directly the, all the CSS styles. So importing here will be applied to all the Next.js pages and all the, the Next.js files that are nested inside the layout. So we can port also metadata. Metadata is a way 
to change the head without creating directly the head component. Here, we don't have the head component. We can specify, for example, the, the title, create next app. We can change here. We can my next JS tutorial. This will be applied, my next JS tutorial. We can also modify the description. We can add, for example, the author, the keywords, OG, OG image, canonical robots, and all the metadata that we need for our project. Anyway, there is a special chapter that is uh, under the optimizing topic where we will see details of the metadata options. Font is also another really important feature in Next.js. We can import directly from this library and include all the Google font. And it's a good way to optimize the font. We can import a single font and before using, we can set some options like subsets. We can set also the weight of the font. We can set like a display, display type like swap or many other attributes. After we import, we uh, create the instance and uh, we transfer this instance as a class name. In this way, it's going to be inter class name uh, like that. If we want, for example, uh, to import another kind of, uh, of font, we can specify Roboto, for example, and it will be like that. So it will be the same. We call it Roboto. And we also apply here as a class name. So automatically our Next.js will get all the all the Roboto fonts to our elements. We have an error. Okay, we have to in this way. Missing weight for the font. So in this way we have to specify the the weight. The weight can be 300. Let's see. It's okay. And we can also use other fonts inside the pages. We will import in the pages the single font, maybe different from the main one, and we can apply to single div or single element. Let's talk about nested layouts. Actually, uh, nested layouts are powerful organizational structure which, within a folder and it, that impact the route segment. When these route segments become active, the corresponding layout are applied. So by default layout within the file hierarchy, a uh, nesting behavior wherein they envelope child layout through their children prop. It's like we have <clears throat> root layout, the nested layout, and each one is going to be wrapped to the upper level layout until reach the, the root. This hierarchy, hierarchical arrangement allows for a seamless integration of layout components, facilitating a current structure user interface. I show you another image that can help you to understand that you can see this is the root layout. If we create a, a file inside a segment layout.js or layout.tsx, this layout will wrap page.js. This layout is wrap this and this. So it's going to be one, this inside the first one and page is going to be inside layout. We can also check this as you can see in the image, the first, this is the first layout and that uh, this component is going to wrap inside the space and uh, uh, this layout will include the, maybe the page, we can put the page here or, or where we want. So first of all, we can create this layout, for example, in, in this route. We call layout.tsx. Actually, it's quite similar to the root one. So we can take this one and save some time. Export default. You can see this layout is children is yeah, no for TypeScript. And we are going to, we cannot use, as we as I explained before, this HTML and body more than once, only on the root layout. So we are going inside this route to see how it works. So it's going to be my route. So now we can see there is a nested layout and we can also create all the nested level that we want. So let's talk now about templates. Actually, 
Next.js gives you the, the freedom to use also another component that is called template. Template serve a similar role of layouts by mm, encapsulating a child that can be a, lay a layout or a page. In contrast to layout, templates generate a fresh instance. It means that layout just render once and all the page re-render inside the layout, but not the layout itself. But with templates, the templates generate a fresh instance for each of their children upon navigation. So it means that when users switch between a route that share a template, a, a new component is mounted. So DOM elements are regenerated, state is not retained, and effects are resynchronized. So this is the main difference between template and layout. This because sometimes there are scenarios where those specific behaviors are are necessary. So an example will be like suspense boundaries. Example can be suspense within layouts, which only display the fallback the first time the layout is loaded, not during the subsequent page switches. In contrast, templates consistently show the fallback on each navigation, providing more control over the user experience. So actually it's quite easy to define a template. Here we can see also diagram of the template. We can define the same level of temp of layout and pages. So we are going to create also template here. Let's create a new file in this route. We have a layout. We have a template. We have a green here and we want to change for the template to see the difference in the yellow to see how the hierarchy will be. Here we go. We have a three different level, the root layout, the nested layout, the root layout is the red one, the le nested layout is the green and the template is the yellow one. We have reached the end of this video tutorial and I genuinely hope you have enjoyed its content. If it has been helpful to you, please show your support by liking the video and sharing it with your friends on social media. If you haven't already, I warmly invite you to subscribe to my channel to stay updated on upcoming lessons. Don't forget to check out my website, thevergolabs.com, where you will find a plethora of interesting programming content. You can also send me collaboration requests and explore all the programming services we offer. Your participation and support are crucial in my growing and to grow this community and providing you with even more valuable resources. Thank you for the bottom of my heart for being here with us and I look forward to seeing you in the next video tutorial.